This is amazing. And I'm hoping that you guys can hear me now because I have been slammed with technical problems. I'm calling it technical problems AF right now. Supposed to have Shauna here. We couldn't get Zoom to work. We can't get Zoom to go live. She couldn't hear me. I just recorded about 10 minutes with no audio. And so I'm hoping that right now you guys can hear me because I figured out the audio problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those situations, ready, fire, aim, where uh, not totally prepared, but want to get out there and get the message to you guys. So this is, welcome, welcome to the second ever, uh, the Daily Bread Project. And today, I want to bring you some positivity. And I, and I got a comment that, uh, well, well, Jonathan, that, uh, that Daily Bread Project, that sounds sounds awful religious you think you think yeah give us this day our daily bread give us our nourishment nourish our spirit nourish our soul nourish us don't you think that right now more than ever we need to be nourished <laughs> the media is bombarding you with negativity your neighbors are being negative you walk outside and people take four steps away from you social distancing <laughs> yeah this is a time that we need positivity baby and that's what this is the daily bread project bringing you positivity daily and so there's me bringing it and when i don't have technical difficulties i'm going to be bringing you the very best of the podcast factory family to share their take on how they're staying positive and how they're staying productive and how they're using this time right now to get better to get stronger because that's what we need to be doing and so the same way that fear and panic is contagious so is love so is joy so is happiness which side do you want to be on I'm taking a stand right now, and that's what the Daily Project or the Daily Bread Project is all about, bringing positivity, bringing the light in the world of darkness, because we need it more than ever. We need it more than ever. And so today, since I am on my own right now, I am going to do a little bit of reading, and I'm going to do a little bit of sharing what I think this means, because this is really where the idea came from. I'm a Catholic man. I'm a practicing Catholic man, okay? And uh, I really have gotten deeper into my faith lately, and it's because I made room for it. I made a conscious effort. I've been intentional about wanting to get deeper into my faith so that I can be a better leader for my family, so I can be a better husband and father, so I can be a better son. And... It's now oozing out of me. It's like oozing out of my pores here. Uh, but this is the first, first uh, Lent where I really got involved. And so I want to give credit where credit's due. At my church, St. James, they had this, uh, this uh, prayers and reflections to do at Lent. And yesterday's reflection is really what this whole project is all about. The Daily Bread, th this encapsulates the idea, and this is needed more than ever. And I want to share this with you guys, because I know that you can use it, and I know that you can share the positivity, share the promise of a better tomorrow. And so I'm just, I'm going to read this to you. I'm, I want to give credit to the man right there. I don't get in trouble here. Joseph F. Sika. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do a little bit of reading, tell you what I think, and give you some, some action steps that you can use. Okay, so in the film, Pay It Forward, social studies teacher Mr. Simonette instructs his class to do something to change the world. See, this positivity thing that we're doing right here is opposite of where most of the world is going. And that's why I feel like the Daily Bread Project is something that can change the world, even if it's just for you, Melissa, Jennings, Matt, even if it's just for the few of us that are here, if it's for the few people that we help, that's how you change the world, okay? So Trevor McKinney embraces the assignment and decides not to pay a favor back, but to pay it forward. Trevor's goal was to do three good deeds for people in need 
and to encourage them to pass on the good deed to three other people, launching the pay it forward revolution. You hear that? So the same way that uh, negativity spread, we can spread positivity. All you have to do is give somebody a compliment, help a neighbor out. If you see somebody out on the street, wave at them and smile. It doesn't have to be anything big, but with all the negativity going on in the world right now, we need some people to do something positive to change the tide here. And that's why I felt like this, this reading needed to be shared with you guys, this reflection. And think about it. How can you do something right now, even if it's just send a text message to somebody, tell them you love them. I mean, it, it's so simple. How can we turn the tide? It's up to you and me to do this. And this world needs some positive leadership. And I want to encourage you guys right now to be positive. Bring some positivity to the world. Bring some good. Bring some joy. Bring some light. We need it. We need it. And bring it to three people. That's all you have to do is bring it to three people right now. Just send a text message. Send an email. Uh, record a quick video. Do, do something simple so that we can turn the tide because we need it right now. And that, that's really... That is the thought behind this, the, the Daily Bread Project, is I was feeling afraid. Uh, of course, who, who isn't going to be afraid? I mean, the stock market to the supermarket, there's a panic everywhere. Toilet paper is, is running out. People are stripping down the shelves. It's, it's just crazy, and it's hard not to fall into that. And, and I was feeling a, almost a little bit helpless. And then I turned that around. I turned that around. I said, if I'm feeling this way, other people are feeling this way. And what is it? What is one small thing that we can do to change things, even if we're changing it for one or two people? And that is bring the positivity. So this Daily Bread Project, what you're going to see, whoops, knock the computer there. What you're going to see is if I can get the technical things worked out, what you're going to see is some of the very best personalities from the podcast factory bringing positivity daily these are going to be every day at 10 a.m today i had all kinds of technical difficulties but every day 10 a.m we're going to bring you the positivity because i want you to start your day with something positive something you can do that uplifts your soul that brings joy that brings happiness that brings light because we need it right now so you got your assignment you got your homework right just go Say something nice. Do something nice. Do it for three people, okay? Just go do that. And that's the assignment. That's going to be how you and I start bringing the light and get us out of this rut. So thank you guys uh, who joined us. Well, look at that. It's Rizzo. What's up, Rizzo? Uh, thank you guys that have joined us. And go out and do something cool, okay? Go out and do something nice. Or don't go out, but just do it from your home, okay? Because we're, we're doing this uh, social distancing thing. Wave, a smile, anything. Love you guys. Mean it.